Well, I can tell you I am thrilled to be at a brand new restaurant here in Lake Oswego called Pizzeria Sulago, and I am with Kara here. And Kara, you actually do a lot of the produce growing here, and you're from Vibrant Valley Farm, correct? Mm -hmm. Tell me about this and, and why these are picked at this time of year and what's he planning to do with them? So it's early spring, so right now we are working with a lot of leafy greens, um, items that do well in cooler weather. Right. Um, this is a way to kind of jumpstart us into the uh, warmer weather things like basils and tomatoes sure. and melons. Uh, so here we have uh, flowering cilantro, lovage, a lot of herbs, um, uh, kale shoots, kale which we grow almost 600 plants solely for this restaurant wow. alone. Wow, wow. Um, favas, um, another plant as a farm, you want to try to grow, be able to capture as much of the plant as possible. So the greens, the flowers, and the pods are all something that we can utilize and sell to folks like Nick. And the great thing about working with you is that you actually can work with the chef on things that they want and then even offer the ideas like I tell me about what this is because I heard you offering this without the flowers but with yeah the pods. so this is when um, it's chervil which is a chef favorite um, this is a very very cold weather plant so it goes from an herb to a uh, flower and then it starts to put seed pods out right um, and every single phase of this plant it has an excellent flavor so it can complement something like a pizza or a salad or even people put it in cocktails. Wow, I mean, yeah, wow. And the great thing is now you can come in and say to him, you know, I've got these, look, I have these pods yeah. out. So that really opens up his opportunities mm -hmm. as a chef to create a lot of unique and wonderful flavors even more than he yeah. already does. Since I've met Nick uh, like four years ago, it's always become, it's always been a dialogue. Right. So if it's, if whatever's going on, it's just a conversation. And I think that's how these relationships become um, really solid and something to rely on and something that you're excited to be a part of. Well, and speaking of the chef, we're going to take a break. I'm going to walk into the kitchen. We're going to talk to him a bit about this. Well, I have found my way back into the kitchen, and now I'm with Chef Nick Ford. And tell me, Nick, what was this concept? How did this come about to you? Uh, so Pizzeria Sul Lago is a pizzeria on the lake down in Lake Oswego, um, and it is focused on farm fresh ingredients and seasonality. And that really meant having to find someone like uh, Kara, who, who would work with you and get that and make sure that that stuff is local and it's fresh and it's right here when you need it. Yeah, restaurants that operate like this are a lot about relationships and right. meeting people like Kara, knowing people like Kara, and that really has a huge impact on what the restaurant is as well. And I would think, Nick, that, and I'm not a chef at all, but I would think to be creative and to come up with fresh flavors and combinations and all that stuff that amazing chefs like you do, you would have to really have someone like that to help bring this kind of produce in to you. Yeah, and it's also working through the seasons too and, right. and figuring out when vegetables are at their prime and, and what way to utilize them. Like coming into springtime now with all this beautiful greenery that we have coming about, it's it's best raw, lightly dressed, and you just so, get to... let me get this up here for you. What what do you think this, what are you gonna do with this? Like, do you, did you have a concept before you got all of this? Uh, yeah, so this is all gonna go on a strawberry pizza that we do. So it's just gonna be a pizza crust that's baked with a little bit of garlic cream, um, hot capicola and mozzarella cheese. And then when it comes out, we'll pick all of these vegetables and make a nice salad out of wow. it and just top the pizza with a nice and fresh salad. you said strawberries, right? Strawberries too. So yeah. I'm gonna let you guys get to work on that and then we're gonna come back when it's all done, see what it looks like and have a taste of it. Awesome, sounds Thanks, great. Nate. Thank you. Okay, so to me, Nick, this looks like a delicious pizza and a wonderful salad, but tell me about what this really is. So this is actually a bunch of product that Kara uh, grows for us. So we have some fresh kale, some fresh dill, um, chervil flowers, edible flowers, strawberries, pea shoots, and some fava beans as well as fava greens. Um, so this is actually going to be the topping for the pizza. Wow. So wow. that pizza crust is baked with a garlic cream sauce, mozzarella cheese, hot capicola, and then this is just gonna get dressed with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Wow. Some sea salts. And then just a light mix on it. And then it's just gonna go right on top of the pizza like so. Well, I'm gonna so let you way. finish this up and yeah. then you've got some other, uh, other things, some other dishes that you're gonna bring out, some plates you've made for us, and we're gonna look at all of these wonderful meals together, okay? Sounds great, thank you. Okay, so I'm sitting here now, and we have fresh produce, we have fresh food, and we came out from doing the pizza, Nick. So tell me what these are, and tell me a little bit about them. 
So we have a rotating salad and vegetable section on the menu here. Um, we have a roasted asparagus with rhubarb and some whipped uh, fromage blanc. We have our signature kale Caesar salad from Vibrant Valley Farm, sugar snap peas with fregola and marinated pecorino toscano, and then also fresh pastas as well. And as delicious as these all sound, I would eat them every day, every year, but you guys really change things up because of the produce that you get constantly. Yeah, in the warmer months we'll do it daily to almost weekly. Wow, and then I love too that you have you have great wines. Tell me a bit about those. So we offer a um, wine program that is Italian grape varietals that is grown in the Pacific Northwest, wow. and we also have a bottled cocktail section. And I love that you serve the cocktails in these bottles. That's yeah. adorable. And then also, tell me your hours. We're open seven days a week, 11.30 to close. Wow, that's that's a lot of opportunity. So, you know, for more information, if you love great food, if you love great wine, if you love great cocktails, go to gardentime.tv. We're going to click you over to their, both of their websites so you can find out about the produce and about the wonderful food. And thank you both so much because this, thank this you. is delicious and delightful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.